some of you may have noticed um, that I have some icons over here on the left hand side uh, for my different links. Well, one thing that is uh, I thoroughly enjoy uh, about Apex 5.0 is that they are using something called Font Awesome. So I'm going to navigate to a link. So this is the Font Awesome. These are the Font Awesome icons. So um, Apex is not using version 4.3. It's currently using uh, version 4.2. But um, if you want to leverage uh, the Font Awesome icons, or you want to customize and have different Font Awesome icons um, in your application, well, one thing that you can do is if you have an idea of the icon that you're looking for, like for instance, I'm going to type gear, and notice that it comes up with a, the act, it's actually called cog, uh, but there's some aliases here for this particular icon. I'm going to navigate to this icon, and since Apex is using Font Awesome, all I need to do is I just need to copy this class. So this is a CSS class that I can leverage in Apex. So I'm just going to copy this cog, fa-cog, and now I'm going to go to my builder, and I'm going to add the cog to this employees item here, this employees list item. To do that, I'm going to edit my application. I'm going to go to my shared components. I'm going to go to my navigation menu, and here I have my desktop navigation menu. This is that left-hand uh, menu. I'm going to go to my employees item, or the employees entry in the navigation menu, and here there's ability to add an image or class, and I'm just going to paste the font awesome cog icon. Apply changes. Now if I refresh my application, you can see that I have a cog powered by font awesome. The great thing about using the Font Awesome stuff is that it scales very well. So here you can see this is the same class at a very large size all the way down to the uh, default kind of smaller size that we see here. And here's actually some code for you to copy. Uh, you can use the I tag uh, and the class and the class provided here to get the Font Awesome icons. Now. One thing that you may have also noticed is that um, tabs aren't along the top anymore, right? That there's tabs that are actually listed along the left-hand side. And I actually shouldn't be calling them tabs anymore because they are not. Tabs, uh, the option to use, or using tabs as the main, as the primary navigation element of your applications is an option now. So I believe now it's just called navigation entries. Uh, and in this case, I'm actually using a list. And I highly encourage you to uh, move away from tabs and use lists. And uh, the reasoning for that is that uh, lists are more flexible. Um, and there are some quirks that you may have encountered when using tabs um, that you can just avoid with lists. Uh, one of which being, just uh, kind of as uh, an FYI, is that when you click on a tab, it's actually submitting the page. Um, but you don't always want to submit the page uh, when you're just trying to navigate from one page to the next. With list entries, you're strictly just uh, navigating. You're just linking from one page to the next.